everybody, it's Christmas time and I'm getting really into painting pine trees. So I thought I would share this with you guys. Um, my kids and I did it yesterday and it was a lot of fun to explore different trees. Um, and then I will show you what you can do after you learn how to make some of these trees. If you're just tuning in, I have another video that goes over how to make this guy. This was a really fun painting. Um, so check out this video if you get a chance. It's all about blending and layering color. But this video is going to be talking about different ways to do pine trees. So we'll explore that. This is a really open-ended, fun thing. There's no right or wrong answer, so do not worry. It's gonna be just fun. All right, so we're gonna start with a small sized brush. Um, let's see, maybe this one. So it's kind of small. Tip is kind of small. Um, and we're gonna talk about some different ways to do trees. So I'm gonna grab some green. I'm gonna wet my brush and grab some green. So first thing, the traditional pine tree is something like this. Um, in order to make these pine trees that we see a lot, I'm gonna go ahead and move to a bigger brush because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So the traditional pine tree, you know, is something like this. You probably see them all around and how we do that is we work on one side and then we mirror it, which means make it, we try to make it look the same on the other side. And that doesn't always happen. And that's okay, because if you look at nature, no two trees are gonna be the same. Okay. So here's one way to make a pine tree. We, I usually start at the top and I work down the left side and then I move over to the right side and then I sort of connect the sides and we'll add the trunk in a little bit, okay? So down the left side, down the right side, regular old pine tree. Now, it's fun though to start trying different pine trees, like a really tall and skinny one. Just gonna make it more narrow. more to it and make it longer. And it's also gonna have a real long trunk. That's another way. You can also make a narrow, just a triangle. This is kind of a fun one, fun and simple. These can be used for trees or mountains actually. can do a shorter, wider one. This is kind of a funny one. I do a lot of shorter videos on my Instagram where I try out these ideas before I share them with you. And I will show you what we made about a week ago in just a minute, what we can do with these trees. We can start mixing these ideas together. Like a long, funny one.
these are really good just for fun, but they're also good for cards too. So if you want to make your family a card, it'd be fun to add these funny trees. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back to that tiny brush. I'm gonna grab some brown, but you could use whatever color you want. Um, a real easy way to add trunks is just some nice straight lines. Oh, and we were gonna make this one a really tall one, weren't we? So there we go, there's some different trees. Getting some sunshine, I'll move over a little bit. Okay, so now that we have talked about some different trees we can make, you can add different colors, you can add decorations, um, but I am going to show you what you can do. Something fun that I came up with last week with my kids, and that is this tall tree little Christmas card. So you can pick two colors and what I've done is just taken a, uh, nine, and a 9 by 12 paper and cut it in half to get these little half sheets. Okay, so I'm going to pick two different colors and this was, well this was three, this was red, maroon, and yellow, like a bright, bright yellow color. I'm going to pick some different colors today but I'm going to start with the lightest color. So let's go with a nice light purple. So the trees that we just talked about, we can add to the sheet. Let's start by adding some nice tall triangle trees. You could do this with any of the, the shapes that I just taught you but the triangles are a fun place to start. So I'm gonna start with a tall, narrow, pine tree triangle. I'm gonna add some more shapes. I'm gonna do a shorter, wider. And this is just like a fun little relaxing way to make a card. And then over here, I'm going to think about putting one here. I'm going to leave a little space because there might need to be one in the future in front of it. And maybe we'll do one more over here, a medium sized one. And so we started with our lightest color, so we're going to move to a darker color now. So let's go back to that real pretty green. And let's do a big one here. Maybe it kind of goes behind the purple. I'm sort of trying not to touch the purple because it's wet so if I touch it it's going to blend so there's a triangle but it goes behind and it's really just a bunch of triangle drawing and just kind of do our best okay if they touch and blend it's all about just relaxing and having fun and learning something new that we didn't know about painting Okay. So 
Looks like we need one over here. Ooh, I really blended it a lot there, and that's okay. This one is going to go behind. It was going to have been a big one. There we go. We've kind of set them, We've set the stage. I'm going to pick one more color. Mine's going to be a blue, and this is going to be a moon. Your moon can be whatever shape you want. I'm going to pretend like there's a circle. So if I drew a circle right here, what would be cut out of it? And I'm kind of being careful not to touch what I've already painted. Although it's not terrible if you do. It'll just blend together, and when it dries, then you can go back and kind of straighten things out a bit. So there, that's kind of good. I like that. It's all about getting something that you like. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. And then, when you think the bottom is dry enough, you can come back, which mine is not quite dry. So I'm just going to start... I'm going to show you without touching the bottom. So you can start adding some little lines and even a ground layer if you want. If you want to add a ground here or if you just want to do lines. And these will be the trunks. Kind of a fun way to paint pine trees. Different. And so there you have it. Fun little pine tree card or night scene. And little ideas for pine trees that we went over. And you can now make whatever you want with these kind of ideas, these kind of pine trees. You can make a whole pine tree forest or just a few on a card. Um, but there you go. Those are just a few different ways to do pine trees. And I hope you enjoyed. I will have more watercolor for kids coming out soon. And go check out some of my other videos. All right. Happy holidays.